Hi guys, pag-aaralan natin ngayon about the, the two opportunity recognition. So, ano ba yung mga dalawang opportunity recognition na yun? First is learning about or explaining the purpose of business plan. At yung isa naman is looking for the business opportunity. So, for this, under module 9, um, pag-aaralan muna natin ang business plan okay so many filipinos nowadays want to know how uh, want to know how to start their small business on their own pero most of the time them ang iniisip lang nila is ano ba yung mga produktong pwede kong i-offer and at the same time ano ba yung ano ba yung mga sino ba yung mga target market ko ano ba yung mga different considerations magkano yung puhunan ganun lang so hindi nila naiisip kung ano ang kahalagahan ng business plan. Okay? So, when you're starting a new business, do you really want to, or do you really need a business plan to do it? So, uh, syempre, ang sagot dyan is, it's true because most of the lenders or the investors will want to see the business plan and if you're not looking for money for outside sources, you, you don't need it. Pero, uh, for further or for future references and at the same time, for future financial help pa rin. Kasi, like for example, sa DTI, they are supporting uh, your business financially, technically, kung may nakikita silang plano or the business plan na hawak-hawak mo. Isa yan sa kanila mga uh, requirements. Kung may uh, financial capability ka naman to finance your business, Para sa akin, it's very necessary pa rin to prepare your business plan kasi ito rin yung magiging uh, history. Malay mo, pagdating ng araw, successful yung business mo, ba? So, ito yung magiging history mo para ma-identify mo saan ka nag-umpisa. Ma-identify mo yung uh, improvement na ginawa mo sa product mo at the same time sa mismong business mo. Okay? So, before we start, guys, I want you to think about this question. Okay? If I were going to do something important, what plan I did before? So, I want you to answer uh, I want you to answer it yes or no or prepare your answer at the end of the class para at least maintindihan mo ko ano ibig sabihin ng business plan. So, ulitin ko siya. If I were going to do something important, would I plan before I did it? Yes or no? Okay? So, let's proceed with our lecture. So, here, we will be dealing with the four objectives. Uh, uh, explaining the purpose of the business plan, types and parts of business plan, and how to put together a business plan. Okay? So, creating a business could be one of the most important things you do in your life. So, it would only make sense to spend time planning it. So, most of the entrepreneurs initially develop a business plan as a way of uh, describing their business. Okay? So, ito yun. Describing their business precisely. Okay? A business plan is a statement of your business goals. The reason you think these goals can be met and how you are going to achieve it. Okay, so this one. Yeah. Okay, so if you start uh, if you start your business without a plan, you will so you will soon be overwhelmed with questions you haven't answered. Tandaan niyo 'yon, 'di ba? Kasi hindi niyo siya pinagplanuhang mabuti. Okay, so a business plan forces you to figure out how to make your business work. Napaka-importante 'yon, tandaan niyo. To, a business plan forces you to figure out how to make your business work. Kasi makikita mo dun yung kanyang strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat, ang composition niya, characteristics niya, attributes niya, andun na lahat. Okay? So, a well-written plan guides, or a well-written business plan will show the investors that uh, you have carefully thought through what you are intend to do to make the business more profitable. Okay? So, the more explanation you offer the investors about how they how their money will be used, the more willing they will be to invest. So, your plan should be uh, so thoughtful and well-written that the only question that raises in an investor's mind, how much will I invest? So, tandaan nyo yun. Okay? So, dapat ang inyong business plan, kailangan it is well-written. ba? Na, 
andun na lahat ng mga information ng kailangan ng investors ninyo. Para ang iisipin na lang niya, magkano kaya ang i-invest ko sa business na to. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin well-written, uh, a well-written plan um, will also be uh, your guide to every step of the way as you develop your businesses. So, it becomes a decision-making tool. Okay? So, most of the entrepreneur uses the business plan to track. Tin tinatrack nila whether the company is meeting their, their goals or hindi. From time to time, the business plan needs to be revised. Tandaan nyo yan, ha? From time to time, your business plan should be revised and needs to be revised to keep it uh, with the changing nature of the environment. Kasi pwedeng yung applicable ngayon may not be applicable noon. Or pwedeng yung applicable noon, hindi na siya applicable ngayon. Lalo na at we are uh, being influenced by rapid technological changes and advances. ba? Diba? So kung noon, kung mapapansin nyo, iilan-ilan lang yung mga online shops. Iilan-ilan lang yung mga online platform. Ngayon, karamihan na nasa online platform na halos. ba? Diba? So, yung palang business plan na pinuo mo noon, tapos yun pa rin yung ginagamit mo ngayon, mapag-iiwanan ka. So, you have to revise it most of the time. Okay? So, some business owners might do this on an annual basis or other uh, pwedeng gawin nila every 3 years or 5-year plan, 3-year plan. So, Depende sa'yo. Depende rin sa business mo. Kung ano yung klase ng pinasok mong business. Okay? Still, uh, in newly developed or high-tech areas, they may need it uh, on a monthly or a weekly basis. Like, for example, mga computer shops, uh, application, through uh, online application, uh, ano pa ba? Lahat ng mga technological gadgets, di ba, kung mapapansin nyo, may upgrade, upgrade din sila. Kasama yun sa kanilang binubo sa business plan. Yung mga upgrades na ginagawa nila, pinag-iisipan nila yan para uh, ma-revise din nila yung kanilang mga business plan. Okay? So, if your company is for profit, your business plan will typically focus on your financial goal, syempre. So, if you are a non-profit business, your plan will typically focus on the mission and the services that supports that mission. Okay? So, as you know, from the previous chapters natin, uh, na-topic naman natin yung mga different business type owners na kasama dun yung mga non-profit companies like mga cooperatives, di ba? So, still, gumagawa pa rin sila ng kanilang business plan, okay? So, next is, there are different types of business plan, okay? So, business plan has no set format. Pero sa Pilipinas, DTI can provide you their simplest simplest business plan outline. Okay? So, uh, in, uh, pagdating ng araw, uh, in your higher years, pag-aaralan ninyo at i-apply ninyo kung ano ang business plan. So, this is just, just an overview that most of the business kailangan may business plan. Hindi pwedeng, ah, gusto ko magpatayo ng isang ganitong business na siisip mo lang. No. Business plan is one of the important marketing tool and decision-making tools of the businesses nowadays. So, yun ang hindi alam ng karamihan mga entrepreneurs sa Pilipinas. Kung ano yung kahalagahan ng business plan. Pag lumapit lang sila sa, sa DTI, doon lang nila nalalaman na kailangan nilang gumawa ng business plan. I have, he, uh, I have several friends na nagtatanong sa akin, kasi alam nilang nagtuturo ako ng marketing and management, about how to make business plans. Or ano yung mga pwedeng ilagay doon? Can I, can I give them daw an example of it? Kasi hindi sila makakuha ng financial aid and technical assistance from DOST and DTI because they don't have their business plan. So see, uh, as early as now guys, you have to embrace making marketing plan, business plan, etc. So, that business plan is part of your opportunity recognition para ma-recognize mo kung may kalalagyan ba talaga yung business mo in the market at kung paano mo siya ilalagay sa market. Diba? Kung halimbawa, hindi mo nakitaan siya ng opportunity dito sa Pangasinan. So, there are different places pa na pwede mo i-consider. And that will be discussed in your business plan because business plan is a decision-making tools of a businesses nowadays. Okay? So, business plans 
develop based on type of business that they are intended. Okay, so however, uh, it is also based on the audience, syempre. So, businesses needs different types of plan for different audiences. So, we have four here. The quick summary na tinatawag natin, okay? Okay, so, yung quick summary na sinasabi dyan is it may seem strange to consider that this type of business plan, but it is because it is a simple verbal synopsis summary. Okay, lasting no more than 30 seconds or 3 minutes for you to discuss. It's used to interest potential investors, customers, and strategic partners. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung pinavideo ko sa inyo, convincing me as your investor, dapat uh, andun na lahat kung ano yung uh, synopsis ng business na ino-offer ninyo. Okay? So, dapat, ang criteria ko rin doon in grading your in grading your video, convincing me as an investor to invest in your business is, yun nga, how much will I invest instead of anong business to, anong kinalaman nito, ganyan. So, some of you pass several video or the quick summary or presentation of your uh, researches, pero kulang. Some naman, kumpleto, so, I give a uh, medyo higher grade for that. Okay, so, napaka-importante yun, guys. Even quick summary yan, in no more than 30 seconds or 3 minutes or to 3 minutes, dapat you have to convince your potential investors na kailangan ang target mo is, ang nasa utak nila dapat is, how much will I invest? Instead of asking na, anong product yan? Paano gagana yan? So, dapat dun sa 3 minutes na andun na lahat. Okay? So, example of this uh, type of summary are, yung kung paano, uh, paano mo ipipresent na ito yung product, umpisa mo sa product, magkano, sino yung magiging target market mo, ano yung opportunity niya sa, sa market, etc. So, ganun lang siya. Okay? Second is the oral oral presentation. So, it is a relatively short, colorful, and entertaining slides running with a running narrative meant to interest potential investors in reading the detailed business plan. So, kung makikita ninyo dun sa uh, module 8 naman, I allow you to represent isang company, isang bansa. ba? So, yung mga ganong presentation, sana may mga background kayo ng mga pictures, video, or I give you an example of a oral presentation, pinipresent nila sa mga investors nila, the specific detailed and colorful na makikita nila, may papakita mo dyan yung, yung slide, yung itsura, and you do all the talking. It's more on the picture na makikita nila, madidipik ko, kung ano yung sinasabi mo. Ano yung sinasabi mo ngayon sa harapan ko na nakikita ko dun sa picture. Okay? So, ganun yung oral presentation. Okay? Next is the investors business plan. So, any, anyone who plans to invest in your startup businesses like mga banks, the investors, and others need to know exactly what you are planning. So, they need a detailed business plan that is well written and formatted. So, all of the information can be easily understood. Okay? So, when entrepreneurs talk about the business plan, this is typically the type of plan they mean. Ba? Alimbawa, pag nag, uh, uh, humihingi kayo ng, ng financial help from different lending institution, banking institution, or any institution. If they ask about your business plan, ito yung hinahanap nila, which is the investor's business plan. Okay, next natin or pang-apat natin is the operational business plan. So, often, a startup business will, def uh, will develop an operational plan that is meant for use within the business only. So, this plan describes in greater detail than in the investor's plan. So, medyo mas detalyado to kumpara doon sa investor's business plan. Actually, itong business, investor's business plan, pwede kayo makakuha ng business plan outline from the DTI, the OST, pwede nila kayong bigyan. Dito naman sa operational business plan, ito yung talagang detalyado. Lahat ng angulo, lahat ng aspeto nakasulat dyan. Okay? Sinusulat dyan lahat, lahat. So, it is often less uh, formal than an investor's business plan. Okay? So, although there is no set format for business plan, each type of this plan will address uh, the what we call the what we call three C's. Yan. 
ए सरी